Hello, and welcome to the fifth video in Course 2. The content for this video comes from Module 5, Publishing Educational Materials. In today's video, we are going to explore the topic of developing new OER, or Open Educational Resources. There are some important elements you should consider when developing new OER. First, be sure you identify all the pieces required and who will create them. As well, think about what the final product is going to be and how it will be used. For example, in the classroom, online, or perhaps for hybrid use. Also think about what will the best format be. So keep in mind that students will have limited resources and therefore limited access to the software. Think most common denominator and not newest and coolest when choosing a format. Finally, do you embed imagery or supply this separately? Other considerations include, if there are to be audiovisual components, who will create them, you or the author team? As well, will the bookstore need an ISBN and a print-on-demand or POD version? Does any part of the work, such as a database, need DRM or digital rights management? And finally, what type of CC license will you require, and will this be for everything in your portfolio or on book-by-book -book decision? So now we're going to talk about some important questions for course-integrated OER. If you have identified a course that could benefit from an OER, plan a meeting with the chair of the textbook committee, the department chair, and the undergraduate coordinator. These are the people who could make the project happen and supply you with the author team that you need. So together, you want to answer the following questions. Will this text serve all sections, or will there be a beta test section? What will be the deadlines, and do they align with your university's policies on text selection? As well, will there be a POD or print-on-demand option? And if so, will there be a royalty paid on copies sold, and to whom? What ancillaries are needed, for example, lab manuals, testings, online homework, teaching guides, and things like that? And finally, are you or the department paying for the editing, design, and hosting, or is there a grant opportunity? A few more important questions about course-integrated OER. So you'll also want to ask if there will be a peer review process and who will perform this function. Also. What level of editing and design is needed? So will the department supply camera-ready files, or will you have to copy, edit, typeset, and design the materials yourself? What delivery system will you use? While the online version can be full color, will you have a color print edition for sale? Who is responsible for checking third-party permissions? And lastly, will there be a need for future updated editions? In this video, we have discussed developing new open educational resources. Thank you for watching.